jaw went black, he was not coming back. These are his custom jaw ones, covered in diamonds, and had his teammate jealous he didn't have them. Your shoes are bust down, bro. These are worth over $4,000, and yet, they're literally the cheapest shoes in this video. Anthony Whoa. Davis's shoes weren't only eight times more expensive, they came from the future. Anthony Literally. Davis? See, Anthony's favorite movie is Back to the Future, because in the movie, Marty McFly wore shoes that became some of the most viral and expensive ever. Our laces, alright. The first rechargeable pair of Nikes made, with futuristic abilities to oh, light yeah. up and even lace themselves, the Nike Air Max, but... Anthony didn't just oh, buy yeah. the exact ones that every other hype beast gets, he got them customized. I got custom the Air Max. Really? I got a pair of Air Max. Custom out and look just like the DeLorean in a movie. And I never wore them nothing. Took them out the box. Kept them in the box. So. I have mine, but I actually hooping them. First of <laughs> all, you don't have no damn Air Max, and you definitely ain't a hoop. Hooper, just look at you, bro. But anyway, <laughs> the Boy Special Edition Red Air Mags are worth over thirty thousand dollars. What? These shoes cost more than your life. But Steph Curry's shoes weren't only more expensive; they honored victims who were burned alive. Curry's heart oh, was broken when he heard devastating news about his city. We begin tonight with that breaking news in Oakland, California. A warehouse party that turned into a deadly inferno. When did this happen? Witnesses say it went up like a tinder. Oh, wow. When did this happen? Years, seconds. And after learning this was the deadliest fire in his city's history. Oh, damn. Like I ain't learning about this. People, 36 people? Damn. In a very memorable way. So he hit up his boy to customize multiple shoes that would honor the victims and spread oh, the wow. The first were some white, blue, and yellow Warriors themed Under Armour shoes that said Oakland on one side, Strong on the other. And not only had Always Remember written on them, they had the initials of every victim. And oh, Steph wow. also signed a similar black pair with initials of the victims and also graffiti style text of Go Shit, the location that the fire went down. Oh, so, yeah. Steph had him on for warm ups, then rocked him during a game versus the Knicks where you could tell he was hurting when he only scored eight points, but. This game wasn't about the accolades, it was about the tragedy and also what the shoes were going to be used for after. After the That's dub, crazy. Steph signed the shoes, making them worth even more. Then not only announced that he was auctioning them off, the shoes ended up selling for over $45,000. Whoa, 45 so grand? Was donated to the Oakland Fire Relief Jesus, Man, a lot. you gotta respect Steph's shoes being made for a good cause. But Jimmy Butler spent even more on shoes that had Eminem shook. Holy those are really cool shoes. That's it. I'm just saying. It shouldn't be a surprise that Michael Jordan's own son is some of the rarest J's in the world. I mean, dude's got a closet full of them. One of his shoes, though, are more expensive than all those combined. And dude's tripping, because he actually wore them during a game where he went off. Butler at the elbow rises and connects with two. Dude, he said Michael Jordan's son? Is that what he just said? up for three and throws it home. Butler over Levine. It's good. No, it's not George. He got his number though, 23. Oh damn. Even though Mans took the L, his J stole the show. It's the first time I've seen somebody, to me, probably that rocked them that was that cool. Eminem was talking about Jordans that were made in his honor, that had black oh, yeah. canvas, and his iconic backward Z with a hockey mask logo. Other than family and friends, Eminem announced that there were only 10 of these shoes being made available. So oh, wow. Means Jimmy's one of the only people on the planet to own the Eminem Carhartt Jordan 4s that cost $80,000. $80,000? At least there's a couple of those shoes available. LeBron James shoes weren't only one of one. They're over six digits, and he only got them because he set a legendary NBA record. LeBron stepped in on the verge of becoming the youngest player in NBA history to score 30,000 points. And what? Is that, oh, that, oh, oh he broke cream and blew the ball with it, I think. Hit the thumbs up button, guys. This, this is from Hoop Flicks. The YouTube channel that uh, made this video is called Hoop Flicks. Hoop Flicks. Y'all can check them out and subscribe to their channel. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's continue on. One on that side. After hitting such a crazy milestone, a famous designer, the shoe surgeon, had to create a special gift for LeBron, and it's a pair that means more to him than anything. Covered in 24 karat gold, designed with crocodile skin, gold what? zippers, even diamonds set with the words world champions on the end of the laces. 
If these weren't expensive enough, he also made a matching pen and a LeBron and signature Lionhead logo also flooded in diamonds. Either wow. way, we talking about shoes, and LeBron's LeBron 15s are worth over a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand dollars for a pair of nobody shoes. Nobody can never get. Giannis signed to Kumpo doesn't only have shoes worth even more. He's willing to let you get them for free. Giannis what? was just showing off his shoe closet and letting us know stories about his favorites. But after showing off hundreds of shoes, Giannis yeah, whips something out that had everybody stunned. Hold on, I gotta pull up. This is the rare shoe in the world. <laughs> There's probably 12 pairs of these in the world. Really? Oh, those Nike Louis Vuitton. It's the friends and family of What would you What would you price these at? If you had I figure 50, 000, 30, oh, 000, 30, Hold on. Listen, Alex, you, listen, hey, man, you're be, listen. 50 thousand? These are 50 You said 50 K? 50 thousand dollars. These are 50 G's? Yeah. These are 50 G's? I promise you. 50 ah, 10 million subscribers. Like this video. What does this say to YouTube? Uh, I mean, you heard y'all. That's crazy. Man. Drop a like on this video and subscribe. These shoes are crazy, man. Blue Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones, and nowadays you can't even buy them unless you spend around 126,000. Oh hell no! Whether you get these shoes or not, hell no, that's the same crazy. Universe as you, Tyrese Halliburton shoes weren't just more expensive; they came straight out the metaverse. His expensive shoes happened just because he got into an NFT bet. If you pay 126 thousand dollars for a pair of sneakers, you are a new fool. I don't give a fuck who made them. Battle with another NBA player, Josh Hart. When NFT hype was at an all-time high, Josh copped not one, not two, not even three, but five NFTs. So he got other NBA players buying them themselves, and eventually Tyrese joined the fun by posting about his new purchase of a board A. And he was hyped about this purchase. Until Josh straight called him out by posting how his ape was better. Now, Tyrese responded saying, uh, that's cat. My ape will be with me on the court tonight. And I'm not gonna lie, man. I didn't know what the hell this dude was talking about. Until a shoe designer leaked Tyrese's bubblegum pin. And blue, custom Kobe shoes with the ape all over him. Now, if becoming the first player to wear an NFT during a game wasn't shocking enough, Tyrese pulled up one of his best <laughs> highlights in that. I just hope that play and NFT were worth it though. Cause ever since he bought those, crypto prices completely crashed, so now oh, wow. they're less than sketchers. Keep in mind that Tyrese hella dumbass really paid a hundred and forty thousand dollars. He said hella dumbass. Michael Jordan. <laughs> he called him hella dumbass. <laughs> oh, hit the thumbs up button. Gordon's expensive shoe is worth fifteen times as much. Things kicked off during game. NBA Finals when Jordan stepped in and made history. One a second on Michael. Fade away. Ties it in two. Outside to Harper. Now Michael baseline. And he starts the same way he began game one. On fire. Michael with the shot clock winding down against Hornacek. Michael's going to do it. Two defenders. A whistle. Count the basket. His shoes literally gave him superpowers or something, because not only did he go off for 37 points and carry his team to a win, on Jordan's feet were his signature shoes at the time, the bread 13s, that were covered in leather, red suede, and some reflective material. Ironically though, these were the last time Jordan would ever wear these shoes. He just signed them, then gave them to a ball boy in the visiting locker room to do whatever with, but I doubt Jordan would have done that if he knew how valuable the shoes would become, because... Once they made their way into an auction, they set a world record. How much? A pair of shoes from one of the NBA's greatest, and the guy synonymous with his shoes, uh, <laughs> might be the most valuable shoes in the world. So the base Michael says Jordan. the Nike Air Jordan 13 sneaker sold for a record $2.2 million. No. $2.2 million. $2.2 million. Dollars. I can't believe someone really paid that much for these pieces. Wow. Of care, man. <laughs> <laughs> monies, but what do I know? I ain't no hooper. I just make YouTube videos all day. <laughs> Bro! But listen, the basketball <laughs> go ain't actually the shoe go. There's still two more players' shoes we have to talk about. 2.5 million dollars. Wayne knows. doesn't only hold the record for the NBA's most expensive pair of shoes. They're so expensive, they need 24-7 armed security. And ironically, they happened right after Wade broke up with Jordan. Literally, Wade left Jordan Brand to become the first NBA player to sign a shoe deal with Lee Ning. Who? Who? Yeah, I didn't know either. Which explains why the move made headlines about it being a move for Wade's career. Well, the brand saw this though and desperately wanted to show everybody what they were made of so they created the most expensive shoe in NBA history. The some ugly shoes. Fire monkeys. 
This shit was ugly as hell. Not only are they covered in 18 karat gold, sapphire, and diamonds, the blue color on the shoe as well as the crystal flower on top is for the Chinese year of the monkey, which represents new business ventures and ambition. So, when the shoes went up for auction, Wade hired a full security team just to stand around cause This shoes is ugly as hell. Million dollars. What? It's only one pair of shoes. PJ Tucker is a shoe god. So he's got the four most million dollars. shoe collection on earth, and it's worth way more than four million. Don't take his collection being crazy from me though. Listen to what NBA stars say. PJ got it going. Yeah, if I had to give it to anybody, it's for sure PJ. Is he competitive when it comes to sneakers? Yes. Nobody gonna beat him when it comes to shoes. You got this. You can see the bitch. You got my shoe before me. Are you gonna deal with a guy that will switch his shoes every quarter? <laughs> and they all praise PJ for a reason, cuz. Anytime he walks in a shoe store, he cashes out like crazy. Okay, so you're total $16,944.57. He got a problem. Thank you. He has a shoe addiction. Sixteen thousand. The rarest shoes in the world. This one is maybe the most detailed Kobe four of all time. This shoe is crazy. But we like to have a little fun. Texas Jags, friends and family. This is one of my favorite ones here. I'm the Kentucky fourteen. You just got the Colette ones. They're very rare, but they're underrated. The details on those are crazy. crazy. That's one of Do we even wear half of those damn shoes? Sean Marion fives. Someone yells, "Where'd you get those?" It was MJ. What was it like to have a shoe that he didn't even get? I just just like calling my name. I knew who it was as soon as I turned around and seen him. I couldn't even respond. This this can't be it. Is this it? Yeah, this is it, man. It's cold as things are uh for Thanks for coming. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> oh. He got so shoes on in his closet. All he's got, there's a reason he's at our top spot. Dude's collection gets even crazier when you realize that he literally hoops in shoes that cost over tens of thousands by wearing the Yeezy Red October. Wow. When he pulls up to games wearing, he's on a whole other level though. Like when he had cameras flashing at his own Nike Air makes it cost over 30,000. Or during the NBA wow. Finals. Even though his team literally won a championship that night, PJ's teammate Giannis got more wet talking about the shoes he wore. This guy today, he wore a 250,000 pair of shoes. He had the real diamonds. I promise you. And that freak was right. <laughs> PJ walked in wearing off-white Jordan 1s covered in black leather, over 2,000 white diamonds setting up 14 karat gold for the swooshes, and a diamond off-white tag that of course cost a quarter mil. Uh, 250,000 dollars? Millions of dollars. That is crazy. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I see you at the Kit Fashion Show. Cheetah Yeezy samples. How? Three made? You said to me, you went tomorrow and getting the Grammy samples. Did that happen yet? That is in the process of okay. happening right now. Okay. And that was another tent that was like, man, like, I gotta find them. All black. Uh, black leather. leather. Yeah, black leather. It's crazy. You're Those on their way. Are, they're on the way. And PJ was in cabin. Not long after, got him. Kanye Yeezy Grammy sample sold for 1.8 million to a mysterious buyer. Then he's the one who posted a couple pics of him rocking them. Well, and not only is the best shoe collection in the NBA, 1.2 million, the best in the entire world. And if you don't believe me up to this point, well, what if I told you he bought his shoes, their own condo? Hey, what's Are up? you serious? And welcome to my sneaker loft. The loft is primarily for storage. There wasn't enough space in my house. He must be making some money. So I thought, you know, I gotta get a house. Probably had seven hundred ish to a thousand, depending on days. We have a bunch of shoes that are doubles and triples of some of my favorites. Honestly, uh, it'd be kind of hard. Seven hundred shoes. For so many days in a year. Just think about that, man. Dude, shoes literally have a better house than you. <laughs> <laughs> Collection is worth over 20 million dollars. 20 million dollars. Shoe king, he's a shoe god. But what NBA players put on their feet is nothing compared to what they eat. One NBA player eats penis pizza. Another player got his favorite food. Penis bad. pizza. <laughs> the hell? Anyway, this is from Hoop Flicks. Hoop Flicks is the YouTube channel. Um, they have some really pretty cool. Uh, documentaries about different things in NBA history but it's pretty cool they talk about the most expensive shoes in the NBA damn millions of dollars for some damn sneakers that's crazy what y'all think man leave your comments that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel